Hey dudes, just gonna vlog off the cuff here again. Some of you appreciate this, some of you don't. If you don't like my voice or what I have to say, you can click off or unsubscribe. I'm not hurt at this point. Everything is so discombobulated, broken, and disconnected right now that I've really given up any expectations or hope for people, even within the Doomer community. I have my longtime subscribers who I'm really thankful for, but my opinion of myself isn't based off how other people feel about me, clearly. So I wanted to address a few things in this video just to highlight them. First off, I want to start off with inequality, and I'm not complaining, I'm just stating the facts that reaching the American dream and buying a house for younger people is increasingly out of reach. And although people are flocking to the Sun Belt cities, Phoenix, Arizona, Tampa, etc., those places will soon become very uninhabitable uh, come this summer and the following summers, definitely into 2030, if we even make it into then. It, it'll just be so excruciating and uncomfortable. You know, your quality of living isn't, isn't what it... I wanted to speak for my whole generation and upcoming generation that we just got a, a shit bag. Like, we got a, a bad deal. Us graduating into a recession with wages being flat and stagnant the past 10 years has ravaged our world. And if you are lucky enough to have an education and a job for a corporation which is still using fossil fuels and destroying your future, um, congratulations. You know, you've achieved some sense of achievement, you know, live with excellence. I encourage that. Um, but just know that it all goes in the river and none of this will matter in the next 10, 15 years. You know, it's just, it's just absurd that we spent the past, we spent 10 years in the 2010s. We're 4 million houses short in this country. Just another heads up, if you're a young person, maybe 16, 18, and getting your on your feet, 20, you're working in the world, you have aspirations, just know you really won't get anywhere, even if you move up the corporate ladder. Like for our parents' generations and, and grandparents' generation, there was a corporate, you could actually climb up and achieve success relatively easier than now. There are no roads to the top of the company. Like you're gonna be, it's you're gonna stress and work your ass off and pay all of your money to rent and food and expenses. And inflation is only going up. What I'm saying, it's a total crapshoot. And based off my experience from working pretty much straight from 16 to 33 and having just even a few accidents in my life, and not to mention, you know, to mention car accidents, divorces, breakups, whatever, those things happen. That's life, especially in your 20s. You fuck up a lot. There's no room for fuck up. There's no room for an error of margin, er, margin of error, okay? Any of those things, two or three of those, those things happen to you, wipes you out, sets you years back. You'll never catch up. You're, you're collecting pennies, okay? You're not really having a monthly income. And congrats if you're able to purchase a house, but guess what? You're in a suburban middle-class house where you don't even know your neighbors. There's no sense of community. You're actually in a worse place when the collapse persists to uh, self-sustain. The best thing you can do is say fuck everything, throw it in the credit card, throw it in the dumpster, all the things you don't need, get the things that you do need, and as the International Monetary Fund says, you... You will own nothing in a few years and everything will be rentable and the people living out because people are going to flock to the cities where it's going to be super hot uncomfortable and crowded if you're outside the city you you are considered uh, a discontent or an outsider and i think that's where it's leading is people saying fuck this system we're not getting anywhere i'm not getting ahead you know i make it by but i'm not like rolling in dough or like comfortable and even if you do get to the point where you're i read this story yesterday a girl has one hundred eighty thousand dollars of, of college debt still even though she's making six figures so yeah she can buy something on amazon for two hundred dollars but what's that material gain gonna do for her happiness it'll make her happy it'll make you happy for ten, a day yeah i would say to young people don't even fucking try don't even try to work in this system, you're better, you're better off going to living outside of crowded areas and forming self-sustaining communities. This is 15 years worth of it, working my ass off every part-time job, having two or three long-term jobs, like career jobs choices uh, in my 20s. And I'm telling you flat out right now, especially the, given the inflation and rising cost of living, you aren't going to get anywhere. Okay? Anywhere. You're a fucking zero. And even if you do get somewhere, it's actually 
contributing to your own demise. I mean, I'm ashamed that I'm still with Bank of America. I need to change to a local credit union wherever I move. But, you know, Chase, JP Morgan, City, dude, they all f fund fossil fuels. So run up the credit cards with them. Tell them to go fuck themselves because they're literally taking from your future. Okay, this is reality. This is common sense. Congrats if you're a nurse practitioner and you're working 50 hours a week. Guess what? You're going to have your climate completely, just your future destroyed already. Okay? It's built in. It might give you joy. Okay, then my second thing I wanted to talk about was, you know, as much as the Doomer community, I want people to feel how I'm feeling in regards to rapid and irreversible climate change and biodiversity loss and the whole litany of climate catastrophes, the ENSO. I want people to feel the pain I feel with realizing this information. It's been a long journey for me to, from the initial realization that we're not going to make it to wanting to change society and people and convincing to the acceptance phase that I am in now. It took me years, and I would say I'm a relatively intelligent individual. But even at this stage of acceptance, I'm still not impressed at all. I'm going to bridge to another content, uh, subject. I'm not impressed at all with people who are even enlightened with this information. And I'm not talking about the subscribers on my channel, but it just goes to show you human nature is, is clicky and tribalistic no matter what. I watched and left comments on nearly all of the other environmental channels. Okay, even the concept of calling environmental groups bothers me to my core. How about everybody is a part of the environment? I mean, as long as we, we associate environmental groups, you know, as a separate thing from our lifestyle, then we're hopeless. But again, going back to the communities of Doomer communities online, never mind their content material or whatnot, but like as much as they're talking about, oh man, this is what's happening to the environment, this is what we can do to save it, they don't even fucking talk to each other. Okay, I'm not going to name specific names here, but like some of the older individuals, I'll just come out and say it. You know, they don't even talk to each other. And here I am, a young guy, enlightened to this information, and none of them, like hardly, I don't know, watch my content, ever leave comments, how's it going? You know what I'm saying? Even though I've, I've done that on my end. And maybe maybe it has something to do with personality traits. I can't fault them for not being an, uh, an extroversion tr person extroverted, gregarious, liking people, but come on, dude, as much as, you, part of being with the movement of saving the planet or talking about not destroying it any further is actually communicating and working with people. And if you can't even do that within your own cohort of knowledge, let's say, then, oh, dude, it's completely hopeless. It already was hopeless, but it's just, it's kind of concerned. It's like, really? Really? This is the best we can do? Not only is our president and Congress not even, and, and government not even trying, China, Russia, we're in war. Like it doesn't even like we're we're so far behind the ball. But even people within the Doomer community or environmental community don't really talk to each other. And as far as and even now, like in my 30s, I get people starting up conversation. Maybe they're insecure, bragging to me about their past experiences. It's like, yo, we just spent over like trillions of dollars in the Afghanistan war, which could have gone to fixing fucking homelessness or giving the rest of us college education instead instead of being hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. Oh, so what? You got in a fucking a truck in Afghanistan. I saw 60, 80 fucking patients a day doing eye exams. Every day, day in, day out for like three years. This bragging, this selfishness, this ego, narcissism, me, 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 how sad I am. You know, there's a place, a time and a place for that. Certainly I went through that phase, you know, but you can't live in that for attention seeking, especially women nowadays. Like it's attention seeking. That's what it is. It's a um the a histrionic, histrionic personality disorder. It's where it's like you make a big scene to attract attention. It's kind of like men, we're just straight up narcissistic. We'll just, you know, feed into our ego. You know what I'm saying? Get real. We're a failure. This is why I don't I don't even think humans are worth living anymore. We we are the virus, okay? We don't even get along within our within our environmental groups. We uh, completely fucked up and faltered this economic system, whereas Wall Street and big banks own literally everything and are buying up homes. I know it's only like 2% of them right now. Rents are astronomical. I've never seen improvement. I've never seen since graduating high school into the adult world this country go in a favorable direction, ever. 
We fucked up and failed in everything virtually. Even medicine, even healthcare. Yeah, we've made some advancements. I have this fancy technology. There's MRI machines, whatever. Technology, it's tools. But as far as our own personal development and growth as humans, this far along is fucking pathetic, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the facts. This is what I observe, and this is what's going down. Okay, well, I'm going to start working out now because I care about my health and feeling healthy and getting proper amount of sleep. I'm just enjoying my sensory experience. But I am certainly tired of the rigged economy, fucking inflation, egotistical people, histrionics, crybabies, unfriendly people. Even if you buy a house, like I said, you don't even know your neighbors. This is no way to live. I fall in love with a bird. I'm, I'm different. I fall in love with different things. Not this self-centered, pathologically fucking insane society we live in and world, which is leading directly to climate catastrophe. Okay, the UN Secretary General is basically prescribing that we have a revolution, that we rise up. You know, he's even basically, he's saying it in a number of words that we need to stand up to our governments and corporations, but no one's doing that. We're, we're completely pacified, out of tune, numbed, psychosis, whatever you want to say. We get an F minus. All right, let me know if you want to start a self-sustaining community and actually give a shit about other people and how they feel. If you're human, or you're some other diseased, worthless creature, a stupid little animal who doesn't, doesn't care about other people or the, his own future. I know my subscribers are legit. Okay. Talk to you soon. Peace.